Hey, welcome to Well.com, home of TIG time. I'm Mr. TIG. Hey, today we're going to put together some materials that you've asked for. One of them is steel to brass. And the question comes out, can you weld steel to brass? And the answer is no, you can't weld it, but you can braze it. And so we've provided a filler material called silicon bronze. And what we're going to do is we're going to take steel and brass and make sure that we put them together with this filler. Now this filler melts at a lower melting point, so it allows us to put them together. Now you never get the full strength of the base material. Anytime you braze, just know that. So also, because we have brass, it has a certain amount of zinc in it. Uh, so it's going to outgas, it's going to fume. Make sure if you're doing any brass that you've got plenty of ventilation in the area, a fan or something of that sort. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to braze this, I'm going to attack it, weld it. I'm going to use a DC, I'm using argon gas. Uh, this material thickness is only about 16 gauge, so I can get by with argon gas. If I go to heavier gauge, then I probably will go to helium. So let me put my safety gear on, attack it, braze it, and show you uh, how to do the procedure. Okay, now the steel is not going to fume, but you certainly will see it with the brass. And uh, steel is not a real clean steel. I didn't, I didn't do any major surface preparation of any kind. But uh, anyway, it's it's well, this welding, or I should say, brazing. Okay. See, uh, you can see the zinc trying to come out of the brass, and it'll pop a little bit, but that's just the way it is with that material. Anyway, so we're getting near the end of the weld, or I should say, end of the braze, and we're finished. Okay, I've finished the brazing procedure of steel on brass, and you'll probably notice that the, uh, the braze is just a little bit larger on here. Uh, it just wets out the way that it wets out. There's no right or wrong in this. Now, you'll probably notice that I've got steel, brass, and then there's another material here, and this is copper. Again, we use silicon bronze, but if you want to see the copper episodes, we did the same similar procedure using silicon bronze. Now, just a footnote, there's a, a a trade name sometimes utilized in this filler material. It's called Everdoer. So if you hear that, it is synonymous. It's the same thing, silicon bronze. Um, anyway, again, it's multi-purpose. Uh, anytime you braze, just remember you're doing it on DC, straight polarity, and the only changes we'll make along the way are, are gas, and you'll see those in later episodes. Right now we're using argon, and we get into heavier sections, you're going to see us using helium. So thank you for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.